Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Is blood cancer curable? This is a question we often hear from patients and their loved ones. It is a complex topic because blood cancer is not just one disease. There are over 100 different types each with its own behavior and treatment options. In this video, we will explore the main types of blood cancer, their symptoms and what are the treatment options available. Please watch the full video and you will get an idea. Let's get started. First, let us understand what blood cancers are. When you hear lung cancer, you know the cancer started in the lung. Same for stomach cancer or liver cancer. But blood cancer does not literally start in the blood. Blood is a mixture of a liquid called plasma and many blood cells. Blood cancer can start from two places, the bone marrow or the lymph nodes. Imagine bone marrow as the factory that produces blood cells. And lymph nodes are like training centers where blood cells are trained to attack our enemies like bacteria and viruses. When the cancer starts in the bone marrow, it is called a leukemia and the cancer of the lymph nodes is called lymphoma. I know this could be a little confusing, but please stick with it. Leukemia is of two types. The ones that grow really fast are called acute leukemias and the ones that grow slowly are called chronic leukemias. Similarly, lymphoma are of two main types, Hodgkin and non-Hodgkin. There are over 60 subtypes of non-Hodgkin lymphoma, so I will not go into the details of each of that. The third category called multiple myeloma also grows in the bone marrow. Myeloma affects cells called plasma cells which form antibodies to fight infections. So now you see, blood cancer is not a single cancer. Each cancer starts in a different type of cell and behaves differently. Now let us talk about the symptoms of blood cancer. The symptoms again are different for different types. We will see the common ones. You may feel very tired and the tiredness may not improve with rest. You catch infections like chest or urinary infections frequently due to a weak immunity. Your weight may go down without any reason even though you are eating well. You may notice bleeding from your nose or gums or some small red spots on your skin due to low platelets. Because lymphoma starts in the lymph nodes, you can have these swellings in your neck, armpit or your groin. You can have a continuous fever which does not improve after many days of fever medicines. In myeloma, patients can have severe pain in their bones, often so bad that they are not able to sleep, sometimes even fractures. But you see, these symptoms may be there due to many other reasons also. So these symptoms don't always mean cancer, but if they persist for more than two weeks, please visit your doctor. The first blood test that your doctor would do is a simple blood test called complete blood count or CBC. This checks for the number of red cells, white cells and platelets in your blood. If the numbers are abnormal like a lot of white cells or very less platelets, further tests are needed. For leukemia or myeloma, a bone marrow biopsy is often done. A small sample of your bone marrow is taken with a needle under local anesthesia, usually from the hip. The sample is examined for cancer cells. For lymphoma, doctors may perform a biopsy of the lymph node. A part of the node or the whole node is removed and checked for cancer. CT scans and PET scans help to understand if the lymphoma and myeloma has spread to other organs. And now the big question, is blood cancer curable? The answer depends on three things. The type of cancer, the stage of cancer, the patient's age and fitness. Some blood cancers like Hodgkin's lymphoma or leukemia in children have very high cure rates. Almost 80 to 90 percent of patients are cured with proper treatment. Cancers like chronic leukemia or multiple myeloma may not be curable but can be kept under control for many years and uh, these patients may live their full lives. What are the different medicines given for blood cancer? Chemotherapy is commonly given for acute leukemias and aggressive lymphomas where the cancer is growing really fast. Targeted therapies are given for chronic leukemias and multiple myeloma. Radiation therapy may be given if the lymphoma is affecting only a limited area of the body. In some cases, a bone marrow transplantation or stem cell transplantation is done. In this treatment, the patient's bone marrow with cancer is replaced with healthy stem cells. And now there are treatment options like the CAR T-cell therapy where your immune system is modified to attack the cancer. This has shown amazing results in many patients who have failed all other treatments. Thanks to modern medicine, most blood cancer types can now be treated and some are curable. Early detection makes all the difference, so don't ignore symptoms which we discussed. If something does not feel right, please visit your doctor. And that brings us to the end of the video. Thank you so much for your time. If you like the video, please share it with your family and friends. If you are new here, please check out my other videos and subscribe to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, please share them in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them. We will meet again next week with another important topic. Until then, take care.